<clears throat> so the title of the video or the title of the live stream is neglecting responsibilities and uh, I gotta say I've been neglecting a lot of my responsibilities uh, in my shed and so I uh, I'm trying to use this live stream as sort of like an anchor to get myself rolling again to get myself back on track because a lot of the stuff in the shed here needs cleaning up and I just haven't been doing anything. Hey Mike, how are you doing? <laughs> it's been a while, huh? <clears throat> so, I've actually got myself a beer. Um, I've had this for a while now. Um, it's a blueberry crumble. It's darkness. It's a Russian Imperial mm -hmm. Stout uh, from Surly. So, there you go. <clears throat> What's up, Frosty? Hello, everyone. So, yeah, like I said in the beginning, um, oh, I was air frying some uh, snacks. Ooh, oh, yeah, look at that. This is um, a dried fish. It's called Bombay Duck. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna eat some of this while I drink. There's some flies flying around in my shed right now. It's annoying. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Yeah, I kind of miss this, like, doing live streams, too. Like, last time, or, like, before I quit, I did live streams probably like every week or something like that. Every weekend I did it. Um, and so I want Saturday night or something to be like my live stream day. And I'm going to try my best to schedule it like that. I, I want to come up with like topics and stuff like that that I can talk about or just things that I can do for a live stream um, instead of just sit and talk. But, I mean, it, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I want the live streams to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, because I've realized, based off of my metrics on YouTube, um, some of my, like, highest grossing, like, videos are my live streams for some reason. <laughs> and so a lot of people like to watch the live streams after it's been... Uh, live stream already so um, yeah I might as well go ahead and do more live streams if because based off of the metrics it seems like a lot of you like enjoy them so I might as well do more of them <clears throat> let's see here a question what survival survival gear that you recommend that's not pricey it's a good question um once I get my website back up, um, it's down right now, uh, I will start doing blog posts and I'll do a topic like that. But as of right now, um, if you want to get a survival backpack or survival gear set up, I would recommend um, following like a guideline. There's not, not necessarily certain things that I recommend. It's more like a guideline of the tools or the type of items that you should bring. So I follow the guideline called the five C's of survival. And so uh, the five C's of survival is cutting tool, combustion device, cordage, container, and cover. Um, so if you follow though that guideline, you'll pretty much be decent um, when it comes to like a survival setup. Um, so like, like the five C's of survival is just a guideline. It's actually really, uh, it's a it's a good idea to actually have um, multiple types of each C. So like, for example, cutting tool. So a cutting tool could be like a knife. It could be a, a saw, and it could be an axe. So those are three different types of cutting tools. Um, you can have all three with you if you want. Uh, you don't necessarily need to. Uh, but I typically personally think like a large like survival knife is ideal um, 
Otherwise, uh, like cordage, you can have multiple types of cordage. You can have like bank line, you can have fishing line, you can have jute twine or something like that. Um, or you can have natural cordage that you find yourself um, and make. Um, and then it goes to combustion device. Combustion device uh, is really hard to reproduce naturally, but it can be done. But combustion device could be like a lighter, um, a, a match, uh, a flint and steel and stuff like that. And so you need a combustion device. Then you go to cover. Cover is like the clothing on you. Um, or uh, like a tarp um, and even gloves, shoes and stuff like that. So cover things that allow you to uh, remain safe within the different environments and stuff like that. Um, and then there's container. Container would be usually like a metal container. Um, you can consider like a plastic container to hold water and stuff. That's ideal to have. But a metal container is usually meant to be able to be used to cook food and boil water to disinfect it and stuff like that. And so like five C's of survival, I'm pretty sure I covered it all. Yeah, so um, I, if you want to build a survival kit, I would suggest starting there. So like following the five C's of survival, bringing the items you think you would need. Um, and then from there, you can then add additional stuff like a first aid kit or anything else. Um, that's usually what I think about when I build a survival kit. <clears throat> Good evening. Plan on replacing your Patreon with a YouTube member program? Yes. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, <laughs> I don't really know yet because if I do that YouTube um uh system i'm going to have to produce content that's specifically for that group um and i'm thinking about maybe using it also as a means of of being able to upload content that can't be monetized and i'm, I'm not sure if it's possible yet but like let's say for example like i still have that second possum video that I like did where um, it's a lot better uh, that video can't be monetized but if it's in that program I might still be able to be paid through like the subscription is from people um, but not be monetized uh, but then I'm also thinking of like other videos where uh, they can be monetized still um, and so like Let's say I post a video exclu exclusively for that group that pays monthly, and then they they can get early access or something like that. And so they'll be able to watch that video like maybe a week early, maybe two, three, maybe a month early or something, and then I will take it out. And then the open public would be able to then see it and stuff like that. So I'm thinking of possibly doing something like that. Patreon right now, like, I mean, I'm not doing anything on it. I feel bad. But, like, whoever is on my Patreon, if you need anything from me or if you want any requests, just shoot me a message and I'll try my best to fulfill it. Um, I appreciate all of my Patreon supporters. I don't have a ton right now, I guess. Um, because I haven't been active really and so yeah I apologize for that <clears throat> what do you do with the chicken blood when you drain the chicken also will you raise more chickens um I let the chicken blood coagulate and then uh, I cook it and you can put it into like uh, kanji or just eat it and stuff like that um, and if I'm going to raise any chickens, I really, really want to. But money is tight right now um, because of Raven's surgery that's coming up. I have to pull some money. From, like, I had to pull some money from my own funds and stuff like that. And I ran into some personal issues and stuff that I had to, like, take my money out. Um, like... I'm supposed to have enough money to last me until the rest of the year. Um, but 
it's been cut a lot and so money is tight so i'm not really sure if i want to raise chickens right now it's not necessarily expensive to raise chickens but like the small things that i have to do it can rack up like right now because i'm not doing it on a larger scale because i'm doing it sort of like a backyard hobbyist uh farm thing you know it it costs me more uh, because I have to buy my chickens every year, <laughs> um, but I'm I'm using them to 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 learn anyway. So the cost uh, to me is is fine because I'm learning a lot um, and uh, it's valuable to me. Um, but like, if if I uh, can set aside some money for chickens, I might. Uh, I don't necessarily need to. Because I feel like I've gained enough like knowledge and skill raising chickens already, and I have an understanding of what goes on and how um, cold most of the chickens can handle. Um, like I know that if I did not butcher Daisy and the rest of the birds, uh, they would have survived through the winter, um, and they would still be alive now. Um, and I, and, and the thing is, my, my chicken coop is not very insulated. It's not insulated at all. Like, but, but they managed to survive and, and be able to live through like below 30, below 40 degree Fahrenheit for like a whole week. And that's really impressive. Um, and so like, I know that I'll be able to raise chickens fine in the future. I don't necessarily need to raise them this year. I want to, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. I Because it, it's good content, you know, raising chickens and, and stuff like that. It's good content. So I, I, I do want to, but I'm trying to budget it in a good way. Uh, I want to raise rabbits. I want to raise quail. Uh, so I might consider doing stuff like that. <clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Mika. Yeah, my Mika. Okay, there you go. Let's see here. Can we see the meats you've dried this year? Oh, um, they're they look kind of bad right now, but holy crap, this smells so good. But yeah, this is darkness. Um. It's a imperial stout, but uh, yeah, it looks dark. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. Where's the box? Where'd the box go? It's a um. It's a blueberry stout. I, I think that's what I said earlier. Oh, here it is. Blueberry crumble, darkness, Russian imperial stout, rum barrel aged Russian imperial stout with blueberries, vanilla, lemon peel. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is going to hit quick. I haven't eaten anything since like noon. Oh, <clears throat> that's the 12%. Okay, we're going to snack on some of this. My uh, dried uh, fish, it's Bombay duck is what it's called. Mm. Perfect. Mm. This is... um. A really interesting fish and a lot of older Asian men eat this while they're like sitting at a table drinking and talking about stuff <clears throat> but it tastes like squid Caught and cleaned my first bluegill by myself today. <laughs> Congratulations, that's awesome. 
All right, so this right here is my dried meats. It's just sitting in a bucket, <laughs> you know, right up here. Um, I'm going to uh, eventually, like, work on this a little bit more. Like, I'm going to uh, hang it up somewhere else, I guess. But this is a long uh, rib, basically. <clears throat> and it's just been salted. And it's just been... Uh, sitting in the fridge for like a couple weeks and then I've taken it out and it's just been sitting in here um, and it's just dry so like this the same all of the the stuff that you see that looks like it's wet it's actually just fat it's not it's not water or anything yeah it's just fat all that shiny stuff is fat <clears throat> this you should already know um this is my uh what is it my uh portable soup and so this is just basically uh condensed collagen so you just take this at this point and then you just put it in hot boiling water and it'll make a hearty soup i've also Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I need to put this somewhere else. Because I don't know if I can show this. Oh god, this is so gross. So there's maggots on here. Let me check the comments. <laughs> so, do you want to see maggots? <laughs> oh, see? So, okay. This live stream is exactly what I needed. So the title of the live stream is Neglecting Responsibilities. And I've definitely neglected my responsibilities to the point where maggots are eating at my preserved meat holy shit this looks disgusting so look at that i am in complete shock yeah i can't even believe i'm this close to it and it's oh god I, I'm going to have to throw away all this sh So the meat over here, or like these ribs, these ribs are fine, right? So let me explain though. So this meat right here that is, is moldy with, with maggots on it, this stuff right here is not salted. This right here is not salted. This was just left out to dry. And that's it. Right? Um, I've got this right here. This is a pork hock. Right? This is salted. There's nothing on it. There's no maggots on it. Same thing with all the other stuff in here. So, so like... This, right? My ribs... These are salted um, and then left to dry in the fridge. And then they've been out here. And so the fact that there's no maggots on here goes to show you proof that preserved food, when it comes to like salted preserved food, uh, deters uh, insects and stuff like that. So I, even though like the these ribs were sitting in the same bucket as uh, the maggots. <laughs> I'm still eating it. I'm still okay with eating it. I'm going to cook it, you know, and stuff like that. Um, same with this. This looks still really good. See? Like this is my uh, dried biltong. This was preserved in um, soy. In a soy soy yeah like soy sauce and stuff like that and ponzu so like this is still good to eat and i would still eat it 
With the other stuff, yeah. That stuff with the <laughs> the maggots, <laughs> that's gonna make for a good thumbnail. <laughs> okay, yeah, so tomorrow, tomorrow is gonna be a day where I'm going to be cleaning up everything. I'm gonna clean up everything. I'm gonna start uh, building my door for my shed. Um, and I'm going to finish this window. This window here, um, I want to just put up some like plexiglass or something like that. Uh, and then, uh, and then put up some blinds so that I can cover it up or something. But yeah, and then I'm going to cover up the, the spaces up here. So like you see right here, right on this side of it, right up there, it has like a space. Like, so each, each section right here has a space, an opening. And so I'm going to cover it up on the outside. And so um, that way it gets completely shut off. So nothing can fly in, no light is coming out. And uh, I'm going to think about putting up um, sheetrock, possibly, maybe, I don't know. But I want this entire area to be secure. So mice and stuff isn't coming in, other animals aren't coming in. I know there's like squirrels and cats that come in my shed. Uh, because my opening, so like behind the camera right now, uh, is the opening for the door. But all I have that's closing it is a piece of tarp. But at the bottom, it's open. And like, animals can jump in and out of it. And so I, uh, yeah, I gotta stop neglecting my responsibilities. So, <laughs> so yeah, um... I was not expecting to see maggots. That was the first time that I've ex seen that. Like, <laughs> I have not, like, gone in here and touched any of that. I have, so, like, this right here and this right here, right? These two items have the, um, the possum meat in here. And it's been getting warmer. So, like, I've kept it out here because it's been cold. But it's springtime now and it's been getting warmer it's like it was like 70 degrees today and so like it's getting warmer so like i need to get rid of this because it's gone bad like i i wasn't going to eat it anyways um and so like the the fur is down here the meat is up here and i doubt there's maggots and stuff in it it's just rotting right now because of the heat but down here are the skulls like there's two skulls of the possums in here at the bottom here and then there's the the skins and the feet and stuff like that up here is like the liver and other meat and stuff like that so this i'm just gonna throw away the entire container like i'm not gonna even bother opening this container the bottom one i'm going to keep because it's the fur and the heads the heads what i'm going to do is i'm going to boil them and then i am going to clean the skulls and uh and then just acquire the skulls essentially and just to have them uh, so yeah, that's going to be a project <laughs> after I've cleaned up everything. So I am very appreciative, appreciative of this, this entire live stream because yeah, this is definitely, um, me announcing that I've neglected my responsibilities and I need this video as an anchor to help me pull myself forward, you know, and, and, and to really get my shit done. And to get my shit together. <laughs> How long have I been growing my hair? About three, four years now, I think. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see here. And um, so Raven update. Um, thanks for asking. Um... Raven is doing really well. Um, it's like she doesn't know that she's, like, injured, really. Like, she just knows that she doesn't want to put pressure on it. And so, like, when we're outside, when we leave the house and we're walking around outside, um, I don't walk her anymore. But what I do is I just bring her out in the front yard and then I let her kind of walk in circles and stuff 
so that she like does her thing like she poops and pees um and then we i just bring her right inside um but because she goes outside she's excited adrenaline goes runs through her she walks normal it looks like she walks normal she doesn't limp or anything like that she walks very normal and it's very steady but if i let her go and she'll she'll start running but when she runs she'll hop and uh she she will skip basically and she won't use that leg and i don't want that to to happen because she'll use her right leg more and her using her right hind leg more will cause more stress on it and eventually she'll tear her acl there and so i am trying to prevent her from using too much um like compensating too much and so she walks on all four legs right now when she's walking around slowly um and so uh outside it, it looks like she's fine but inside in in the house for some reason in the house she's more comfortable or something she doesn't have that adrenaline running and so she's limping all the time so when she's walking around in the house she's limping um and so i just keep her in bed all day um and i feel bad because I want to bring her out on walks and stuff. I want to bring her out. Like, Raven is my main motivation to go outside, you know? Like, she was the, my main motivation for my YouTube channel. Um, and so, like, it sucks not having her around when I go outside. Um... And I don't go outside and walk around as much anymore. And I normally do, you know, like I would walk her, I would go long distances, I would get my exercise in. But now I don't because because Raven's injured. Um, but aside from that, like she's healthy, she's happy, and she's um, like she's normal. Um, aside from that limp, you know. She's normal. Nothing else is wrong. Um, she's healthy and it's good. Holy crap. Can you hear that? It's so windy out. <laughs> um, so June 1st is going to be her operation date. Um, so in a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks now, I think, um, Raven is going to have surgery. It's going to cost me... Um, three thousand five hundred and uh yeah that's that's taking out a large chunk of my money um but i want to do this like i've heard like alternative options where like i don't need to take get surgery and it'll heal on its own but she'll still have a limp throughout her life and uh she'll be fine but i don't want that i want her to be normal again um and so i'm going to t like like for her to like get back to normal without surgery it'll take like a year or two um it'll take a long time but she'll never be herself again um and so i want to get surgery and hopefully this really takes care of it but it's going to take a while so um surgery is going to happen june 1st and then it's going to take about two weeks or so for her to heal up like the 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 wound or, or like the cut in her leg um because or like the stitches you know uh so like it'll take about two weeks for the stitches to heal um and then from there uh it's going to take maybe two months for her to be back 100 percent, and so it's gonna take a long time and so, like, Raven is probably going to be 100% at, like, in September or something. So, uh, August or September. So, she's going to miss out on, on spring and summer. <laughs> but that's okay. So, I'm not going to give her any flea medication or, or, or anything like that. Um, or heartworm medication because she's not going to be outside. Uh, so I guess that's a plus, but I don't know. I'm still trying to... So, like, it's taken me a long time to kind of deal with the situation. 
and I feel like I'm content right now and I'm okay right now. But I feel like once June 1st hits and once she has her operation, I'm going to go back. I'm going to revert back to how I felt in the beginning, where I'm going to feel bummed out. I'm going to hate life. <laughs> that's how I, I think that's what's going to happen to me. Because I'm going to see Raven with a huge, like, like wound on her leg. Her leg is going to be, like, um, shaved. And then, and then there's going to be stitches, and I'm going to have to like, I'm gonna be, I'm going to have to like be careful carrying her around because right now I pick her up and I walk her up the stairs and then I set her down, and then when we go back inside, I pick her up and I walk her down, so like I don't let Raven use the stairs at all, <clears throat> and then, um, I'm not sure if she's going to need like the cone at all i've asked if we can use like a sleeve on her leg so that way she can't lick her wound um i don't want raven to have a cone because she's not going to like that and it's just going to be frustrating and it's going to be frustrating for me but it's going to be frustrating for her also but i think i'm going to put a sleeve on and then keep her in the the kennel um i had to buy a kennel also and uh, I don't know if it'll be big enough for a cone. And so I'm going to probably buy like an oversized um, sleeve for her leg. So that way she can't lick at her stitches. And then just leave her in there for two weeks. And yeah, having to live with this entire situation really sucks. But I, I'm trying to think of the brighter side where like she's still alive. She's fine. You know, it's she's going to miss out on this entire year, but she's going to get better, you know. And so I'm trying to look at the bar rider side. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Tyler. Okay, hang on. Breast cancer surgery two years ago. They open her entire chest up. It's going to be rough for the first three, four weeks with the stitches. Yeah, I don't want Raven to have a cone. <laughs> That's the thing. <clears throat> Even when she sleeps until those stitches come off. Yeah. Thank you very much, everyone. <clears throat> okay. Some more fish. <laughs> All right, so yeah, tomorrow I I am going to clean up all this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of the maggots, <laughs> and because of all of this, I kind of want more drinks. Give me a second; I'll be right back. Okay. Ooh. So, Kibiki, Centauri Whiskey. <clears throat> so, Manuel, I still remember his name. I don't know if he's still watching my videos or not, but I hope Manuel is. Um,. He was the one who sent me money to buy whiskey. And so, I went and I bought this Hibiki. And uh, it's a Japanese whiskey. And I never liked whiskey in the beginning. Or before. And because of the entire situation, I bought this and I tried it. And I absolutely love this. This is like one of my favorite whiskeys ever. And I've tried other whiskeys before, too. American whiskey and stuff like that. But this has been my favorite. This cost me about $75 or so. Um, 
The funny thing is, I have discovered recently that there are more expensive bottles of of Hibiki. <laughs> and uh, the more expensive bottles, there's one that costs a thousand dollars. And there's another bottle that costs like twenty five hundred, so like two thousand five hundred dollars. A bottle like this of whiskey. And that's crazy to me. Um and eventually, someday, I'll probably buy those and try them. But for now, I'm content with this. And I want to buy more of these. Because $75 for something like this, sure, it seems expensive. But, I mean, it's really good. Um, but there's other, like, other states sell this for much more expensive. Like, in my state or where I get it from, I get it for $75. But other states sell this for like $100, if not more. $120 even. And for the fact that I can get it for $75 is actually a pretty good deal. <clears throat> so, let's see here. I don't have anything else with me. So all I have is this glass from the beer. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pour it into this. There you go. I'm not going to have too much. <laughs> That's plenty. Um, oh, so before the live stream, I actually spent like a good two hours downloading all of my TikTok videos. I'm not done even. So if you've noticed on my YouTube, um, I was posting TikTok or no, my TikTok videos on YouTube uh, through YouTube shorts. I was posting like five videos a day or something like that for the past month and i stopped recently because i i just didn't do i didn't schedule everything uh, ahead of time um well i only scheduled things up until the last day of april and so may i need to start scheduling everything again and so i started downloading all of my tiktok videos again and uh, I'm going to start scheduling um, like five, six videos every day um, and stuff. Uh, and so like I'm reposting all of my TikTok content on YouTube. And then I'm going to start doing that on Instagram. And I'm going to start doing that on you or on, on Facebook. Here's the coolest thing. So, so everyone, so like the 17 people that's watching right now, um, if... If you care or if you want to, um, follow me on my Facebook page. So like Clueless Bushcraft, uh, my Facebook page. Because what I've noticed from the analytics is 120% um, interaction. So like I only have about 1,500 followers or something like that on my um my facebook page but my my reach on each video or on each post runs up to about like 2000 and so like i'm getting a lot more like so like i'm getting a lot of interaction or like i'm at least getting a lot of reach so like on YouTube, or no, on, on on TikTok, like, recently, I haven't been doing very well. I've been having trouble breaking 100,000 views. And I have 3.4 million followers. And so, like, I'm not reaching a whole lot of people. Um, and so, like, on, on Facebook, though, I am. So, like, for some reason, Facebook is pushing my content to almost all of my followers. And so if you want to always see my content when I post it, follow me on Facebook because right now, Facebook is the best place to get reach, to actually get people to see your stuff. Like they may not interact with your stuff, but I can at least know that people are actually seeing my stuff. So like, I only have about 1500 followers or something like that. But 2,000 people are, 
have seen my stuff, right? And so that's really impressive. So I'm happy about that. Um, so let's say, for example, if I had a million people follow me on Facebook, I would most definitely get at least a million people who see my content. Even if they don't like interact with it, I'm fine with that. I just want people to see me. Um, and so right now, as far as like the ratio goes, Facebook is best, but TikTok is still best for our discoverability. Okay, so <laughs> my whiskey. Yeah, that is really good. It has this natural sweetness to it. Like you, you put it in your mouth and you kind of switch it around a little bit. I might have missed it. Where can I get that? Alex, what are you talking about? What do you want to get? Thank you very much, Drew. Just wondering if you are going to post more of the chicken videos. Um, I might. I think I will. Um... So, like, I'm downloading all my videos, and um, I'm going to repost all of them. But I do have one more chicken video from Daisy and Truffle, I think. Um, because that video I still haven't posted yet. So, like, two months ago, I butchered Daisy and Truffle. Um, and I, I filmed it and stuff, but I'm not done with the video. Um, I'm editing it still because I still need to complete the video um, and I haven't yet <laughs> and so yeah I I will have one more chicken video from the past or from the previous batch but you will start seeing like um, the baby versions of all those chickens again because I'm going to be reposting my TikTok videos on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook so the the goal is on Instagram I have a maximum um, of a thousand dollars that I can make and um, like from from Instagram reels so I can make up to a thousand dollars every month but I've only been making like $150 to $200 every month uh, on Instagram because I'm not posting enough. And so if I start posting more consistently with my older content on TikTok, I might make more. I don't know yet, but it's worth a shot. Um, I don't make money on uh, Facebook yet. But there is a Facebook Reels like fund where I can make money on it. But I don't meet the requirements just yet. So um, I'm trying to post more on it to eventually qualify. So I can essentially repurpose all my content on TikTok on other platforms and make money. And so that's my, my goal right now. But I'm trying to work with other companies. There's... Oh, so... Uh, for everyone that's watching right now, um, if you don't know, if you are not in my Discord, um, you should join. <laughs> um, but, like, I am going to be working with a company called Blue Weddy. Um, yeah, so it's called Blue Weddy. <laughs> uh, and they are similar to Jackery, 
Um, they're a company that works with like solar generators or just off-grid power solutions uh, that are very simplified for the everyday user. So people like me, you know? So like, I don't know anything about solar power. I don't know, I don't understand solar power, you know, with like like the, the, the control panel and all that other stuff and how to hook stuff up. So like they simplify it. So it's just a big giant battery with plugs and stuff. And then they have like a solar panel that you can buy. Um, so Bluetti is so much better than Jackery. And I've mentioned this in my Discord. Jackery, I worked with them. If you've seen my videos, I made two videos about Jackery and, and, and their power sort of battery pack thing with the solar panel that they sent me. They were going to pay me, um, uh, they were going to pay me, right? But um, we discussed all of this in January, and they weren't going to pay me until May, which is five months away, right? And that was really frustrating. I wanted to be paid after I was done with all my videos. And so <clears throat> in April, they said that they're not going to pay me because they didn't have money for some reason. And I'm, I, I told them that I would call them out on it and stuff like that. And I would make a dedicated video calling them out on it. And they finally like paid me, right? They paid me before May. They paid me in April, which I was happy about, right? But they weren't going to pay me in April unless I like had like, like threatened them to call them out on it. And I'm still calling them out on it right now, <laughs> but like, I was really frustrated and they weren't paying me and I needed it. Um, and so they finally paid me and I was like, okay, whatever. And so now I reached out to Bluetti and I'm working with them. It's the coolest freaking device ever. It's, um, I don't have it with me, <clears throat> but it's about this big. So like, it's about this big. That's something else, but it's about that big. And uh, it's a large battery that's like 61 pounds. It's heavy. But the thing is, it can power a freaking, like, um, washing machine. Like a washing machine and a dryer. It can power that. And um, the Jackery battery pack that I had, it couldn't even... It couldn't power my um, air fryer. The Jackery one couldn't power my air fryer. They had other ones that were bigger that could, but they didn't send me that one, you know? And I wanted them to, and but they didn't. They, did, they didn't understand the value that I could have provided. Um, but, yeah, this could, couldn't be powered on it. And I was frustrated because I wanted to power my air fryer on the Jackery to cook sashal crabs because whenever i cook sashal crabs i would make a, make a lot of views and stuff like that i'll get a lot of views and that would have been good for jackery but they didn't send me the one that i wanted uh but bluetti sent me their most powerful one right it's huge and the thing is it can power my air fryer it can power my electric um kettle and here's the coolest thing, and I'm going to make a video about it. It can power my PS4 and my monitor. <laughs> and so I'm going to do an off-grid gaming setup. So I'm going to like set everything up in the middle of the woods, and I'm going to start playing Metal Gear Solid 5 or something <laughs> in the middle of the woods, and it's going to be a fully, completely off-grid setup so it's the bluetti um ac 200 power setup or something like that i'll plug everything in i'll have the ps4 plugged in and i'll have my uh, sony monitor uh plugged in and uh i'll start playing games in the middle of the woods it's gonna be super cool and uh, i can't wait to do it and um, right now, I have the Bluetti, like, system, like, that battery pack. 
But the thing is, um, they want two videos on it this month, and then they want like 20 like photographs or something like that. And then next month they want 20 more like photographs. But next month they're going to send me two more items. It's going to be an a battery expansion pack to the battery pack that I already have. And so it's going to expand it to make it last longer. But they're also going to send me their biggest um, solar panel setup. And so it's going to be like four panels or something like that to power or to charge that battery pack. It's going to be the coolest thing ever. So I'm doing this all for the product right now. Um, and I want to do a long-term partnership with them. And so this right now for the for this month and next month is going to be sort of like a test to see how well I do, I guess. Um, but I want to like be good for them. Like they, they're so far right now, their communication is great. Like I love them. So Bluetti is the company name. And so far they've been great. Jackery, they're crap. Don't buy anything from Jackery. <clears throat> and oh if you like um mountain dew i might work with them um they have a really cool program that's coming up for outdoorsmen um i'll talk more about that in a different live stream maybe but yeah it's really cool all right let's see here i have missed it where can i get that All right, hey man, love your videos. Although their very first one I saw made me a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> the turtle one <laughs> is that one where you said power PlayStation and battery. Yes, there you go. Went and followed the Facebook. Thank you very much. Gaming with my PlayStation in the middle of the woods. Yes. <laughs> Come. Where do you find all these cool different kinds of beers? Oh. Um, my local grocery store is called High V, like H Y V E E. Uh, I don't know how, how nationwide they are, but at least in my area, um, there's a bunch of High V's that popped up in the last like two three years, and um, they have a liquor store where they carry a lot of local beers. And um, I just go there once in a while, and they have a bunch of random beers that they sell. Um, that's really good. And so I just buy it. I just buy it based off of how it looks like. I don't. I don't buy it based off of what they are. Um, and so it could be anything. I like beers because they're all basically beer. You know, um, it's still alcohol. <laughs> Oh, I want to show you my drawings. I have this with me. So, if you're part of my Discord server, you have already seen this. Or you may have seen it on my TikTok already. But this is a drawing of Raven. I think it's kind of bad, but it does look like Raven, kind of. But then I was practicing. I was drawing her collar right here. And I wanted a really large, oversized collar. Like, I wanted the collar to look like a scarf. And then I ended up with this. Like that. And this is sort of like Raven's puppy phase look. Because, yeah, she looks she looked like this when she was a puppy. And so I drew that digitally. And so I'm going to color that. I'm going to turn that into a t-shirt. I'm going to turn that into stickers and a bunch of other items. Um, and all the money that I make from that on my spread shop is going to go towards her um, surgery. And then I started drawing all of this too. So like I drew this first 
and then I drew this. I wanted a skull with a knife through it, or like a sword through it. And then this is going to be the final. And I think this looks pretty good. This is going to... Um, that This drawing right here is going to be digitalized. And then I'm going to have like my word that say, survival is simple, just don't die. And then I'm going to turn that into a t-shirt. And then this right here is like a... Um, uh, an arrow, like a stone arrow, and then I changed it to like a, a skull, kind of, sort of like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that at all. And then I got my soft shell crabs. <laughs> I drew a crab, and then I drew this. So it's, it's just going to say soft shell and then crab. And I'm going to turn this into a t shirt also, or a design and sticker. Uh. And right now, um, I'm working with another company that wants to help me make like a, um, sort of like a Kickstarter, but not really. It's sort of like a Kickstarter for a plushie. So I'm trying to design a plushie of Raven. And all of that money is going to go towards um, replenishing Raven's emergency fund. Um because it's not going to start until maybe two, three months later. Like this plushy thing isn't going to start until two, three months later. And Raven's surgery is going to start next month. Um, and so uh, the first idea was this. So this is the first that anyone has seen this. I haven't posted this on my Discord yet. So this right here. This right here was supposed, like I'm trying to create a plushie, but then I, s I feel like the legs right in the front, the legs in the front are too long and it might end up being too like flimsy and weird. But this kind of looks like Raven, right? I think that would look like a decent plushie. And this right here is sort of like a design of Raven's chest. Um, like, I posted a photo on Instagram already, but, like, Raven has two very identifiable markings. So, one right underneath her, like, neck, where it's just sort of like a diamond shape, you know? It's like a diamond shape. And then, right below her neck, on her chest, is a marking that kind of looks like that. And it's white. And so... I'm not sure if I'm going to end up turning that into a logo or anything. I'm not sure yet. Um, but a different plush idea I had was something like this. But this doesn't look anything like Raven, right? It looks like this, and it's just laying down. So I didn't like that. But I did something else that's kind of similar to it that might be okay. It's just this. I... I I actually really like this design, right? So like it could look like that and then the collar could be the purple with the heart or like with the flowers and stuff. I think this would actually be pretty good. And then her nub of a tail, like I feel like that would be like the best design. I might rework it so it looks better, but I think I might go with that for a plushie. But, um, I started doing sort of like a caricature, um, sort, sort of like an Animal Crossing character of Raven. And uh, I ended up with this. So that's her face, and that's her collar, and then she's wearing a vest, and that's her. And I really like this drawing. It's really cool. And so I'm going to turn this into a character. And I eventually might do different poses, different situations maybe. Maybe have her fish or something like that. And so I think I, I really like it. So yeah. <clears throat> you tried Victory Brewing Golden Monkey. I have not tried that. Anthony says, first video I caught your turtle one. 
loved it by the way you're doing live streams too please keep it up this is awesome so far <laughs> thank you very much turn it into an nft series i am going to do an nft series so i'm going to do nfts for all of these drawings um so it's going to be cool so yeah and but the thing is the nfts are going to have um utility in the future right now no in the maybe one two years future uh, my nfts will have utility for like a shop or like a store or something like that or possibly the ability to meet me someday um or just talk to me on the phone or something like that i'm trying to make having my nfts uh have you util have utility and it makes sense you know i don't want them to just simply be just artwork that people buy i always find it funny that the first video in your recommended on youtube is turtle video because it's probably the goriest one he posted yeah so so the funniest thing about my turtle video i am like now i'm really surprised that that video was never flagged and i feel like that video was pretty graphic you know like i gutted the entire thing i pulled out like the eggs and stuff like that and everything and you saw me cut through the shell and everything and i'm really surprised that youtube let me do all that and keep it monetized I'm really surprised about that. Um, I still, so like, I want, so like, I think my turtle video right now is the best performing video of all time. I think that's, that's what it is. I, um, it's in like the hundred thousand views or something like that. Um, and, uh, I want to continue making more turtle videos i have more turtle meat so like i've just been lazy i guess so like i have turtle bones in my freezer right now i have the turtle head in my freezer right now um 111 000 views that's awesome <laughs> so that so that video has made me a thousand dollars so that's really cool like if i can consistently make that sort of video i would be golden i would be very very happy if i can do that at least once a month i'll be very very happy um but it very depends on how long people are watching the video depends how long they're watching the the youtube ads and stuff like that too if you skip the ads or not if you watch all of the ads and not skip any of the ads i make more money um so it really depends uh, per video. It's not based off of the views all the time. It's more based off of like how long you're watching the ad and how long you're watching the video. Um, but um, yeah, I have the turtle bones still. I have the turtle meat still. I have the turtle head. I have the turtle uh, shell. So I'm going to make videos on that. I'm going to make like a turtle shell soup or something like that but i feel like i need to do that in the woods i i need to like chop up the the turtle shell in the woods clean it and all that and then pop it into a container and then cook it up and make a soup out of it or something uh, like a turtle shell soup i think that will be best or maybe just do it in my shed i don't know but i think that will be a good video um and i'm still on my um, I'm still in the process of making uh, beef tendon or or like pig's feet or or cow feet um, gummy bears. So I have the 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 collagen stuff in my fridge right now. All I need to do is put sugar in it and then put food coloring and then put it into bear molds and then uh, pop them out of the bear molds and eat them. Um, so yeah, the, the gummy bears is going to be a really cool video and I hope to do that soon. <clears throat> Made a video, TikTok would probably, 
permanent ban. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely get permanently banned. So, like, so my biggest asset right now um, in social media is my TikTok channel. So, like, my TikTok, my, my TikTok page being 3,400, or no, 3,000, no, 3 million, 4,000 um, followers. Like, that's my biggest asset right now. That's the only reason that makes me matter in the eyes of, like, companies and stuff like that. So, companies look at my uh, TikTok page and they're like, oh, crap, he has a ton of followers. Uh, let's reach out to him and pay him and stuff like that, right? Um, that's the biggest asset. And the problem with TikTok is it's been difficult for me to kind of make viral content it's been difficult to go viral lately and i guess it's just because i haven't been posting consistently and i just haven't been posting as the same formula that i've been having you know um and so i'm trying to get back on tiktok but i'm discouraged because i don't make a whole lot on tiktok anymore um anyways um because YouTube is so much better. And that's why I do my YouTube streams and stuff like that. <sighs> Remember <laughs> banned for three days opening? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the, th that's the thing. So like, I feel like I'm treated like a child when I'm on TikTok. Like, Whenever I violate, or when when a video gets flagged for a violation, it gets taken down, and then I'm banned for three days from posting. And I feel like I'm being put in timeout, like I'm a child when I'm on TikTok, right? On YouTube, the video remains up, and then it just doesn't get monetized, you know? So basically... Like, I just stopped making money, but it's being held, right? And then once things clear up, I just get my money back, or I get my money, and, and then things go on as normal, right? Um, but the thing is, my videos don't ever get taken down from YouTube. I haven't had any problems, but on TikTok, they're, like, always taking down videos immediately, you know? Even though I don't, I didn't violate anything, and so like it's been really frustrating trying to post on TikTok. And the thing is, recently I don't know why, but recently TikTok has been taking down videos that are like a year old, and it would be a violation or something. But it really isn't a violation. They just take down the video and then ban me for three days for a video that I posted a year ago, and then. And then I appeal it, and then it gets put back, you know, and then it, it's just, it's annoying. So it's been frustrating with TikTok, and so I've been just basically repurposing my YouTube videos to TikTok. I've been rarely making dedicated TikTok videos, but I want to start making dedicated TikTok videos again. Um, but who knows? We'll, we'll, I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Victoria. Thanks for joining the live stream. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of people are getting banned and stuff like that. It's been really frustrating. I hate it. Oh, man. Okay. I think I am good at this point, actually. it's uh, It's been an hour and ten minutes. So, yeah. This live stream called neglecting my responsibilities i am going to clean up all of this i'm going to get rid of the maggots <laughs> i'm going to clean up all of this I got a bunch of other stuff yeah this space is going to be cleaned up and then i'm going to furnish it so that it looks nice and i'm going to make videos of me sleeping in here it's going to be cool there's a company that uh, um, is going to release a product where it's a off-grid AC system. And I want to reach out to them. And they haven't released their product yet. They've just been kind of promoting it. 
I forget what they're called, but it's a air conditioning system and it's off grid. And it's like a large battery. It's sort of like a large battery pack, similar to the uh, Blue Eddy thing that I was talking about, but it's an AC system. You can charge your devices and stuff like that too, but it's an air conditioning system. And I, and it, and they're advertising it as an item for people who backpack and camp. And so, I mean, I kind of fit that. And so it'll be cool if I can, like, get a sponsorship from them and get the product. Like, to be honest, I just want the product. I don't care to be paid. <laughs> like, I just want the product. It's super cool, you know? Like, having an air conditioning system for a camping trip would be super cool, you know? And so I, I want that. And so I'm going to reach out to them and see if I can partner up with them. But yeah, um, I'm going to be cleaning up my shed tomorrow, and I'm going to use this live stream as my anchor for that. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone joining the live stream. I will see you next time. I will try to do another live stream next week, Saturday, around this time also. So um, if you if if you want, please consider sharing the live stream i'm going to um like schedule it so you'll have a link to share or stuff like that so yeah i uh appreciate you watching the live stream consider subscribing if you haven't already check out my um my spread shop i have like this right here this is a shirt of raven <laughs> i have this design available Anything that I make from my um, spread shop, I'm going to be putting it towards my um, my surgery for Raven uh, in June. And so, yeah, it's going to be cool. And I'm going to start making more limited edition, like, t-shirt designs and stuff like that, too. And so look out for that. Yeah, but that's it. I'm calling it a night. Thanks for watching. Peace out.